Oh, hey, the old rules here. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Sorry about that, I was clicking into the screen and accidentally skipped a little bit of dialogue, but Maki's basically saying that she plans on using the Electro Hammer to disable the electric barrier like we did with the gate going to the outside world. Um, we did the same thing to the electronic block on the exit to the outside world. But it, won't, it, but it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh yeah, the grenade. Ah, oh. uh, is that? Yeah, the electro grenade. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering par particles that interfere with the electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave behind any debris. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. But why do you have that, Maki? There were only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. Oh, when she, went, when she ran up and grabbed him during that time. Oh, clever. As, as expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. Kleptomania. <laughs> the terrifying glare part was a joke, so you can stop glaring at me so terrifyingly. Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the Estes skulls. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be as good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. No. But he might still be able to control an Estes skull from the inside. Oh, butt naked? No. God, no, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. Then we should bring the Electro Hammers as a precaution against the Acid Skulls. Hmm, dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Ah, sorry. Uh, sorry, but I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an Electro Hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Um, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the Electro Hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary. But we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. And it gives us an excuse to have another free time segment. That's true. Fine. Then that's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait. No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair that doesn't... If we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. But you can't. Yeah. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd feel bad after we killed him. Don't. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah, yeah that's the sort of thing the remnants of despair or Kira would do. Okay. But Kaido said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine, now everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But it seems like any but if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Wow, Maki's actually reliable? No. no, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. Is that the reason why her nickname has been Maki roll this whole time so you could make that pun? If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did you see those eyes? Those were like a predator looking at its prey. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. <laughs> Okay then, but it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it also might be thanks to Kaido. Because Kaido was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, uh, of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to stare. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, right. I guess Maki missed that. We finalized our plan to get into the Escal hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. He split up, focused and determined. Cool, so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes down. And there's my hammer. All right. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Suiji. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh-huh. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do. Right. right, I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaido. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll go. Okay, so we're gonna head to the Escal hangar then. I'll meet you guys. Oh, hello, Kibo. I was gonna say I'll meet you guys there, but I want to talk to Kibo first. Oh, Suichi. We must rescue Kaido no matter what. If we're to defeat despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It was all thanks to Kaido that we're all working together again. Right. Let's save Kaido and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. And usually as these games go, they get your hopes up and then they crush them again. They get your hopes up again and then they crush them again. So, yeah, I suspect that something bad will happen, but eh, we'll see. Also, the Exoskull Hanger is this way. Hey, Samugi. Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I, I was the same. I couldn't stay still. Uh, this morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so sundary in the beginning, is now the one pulling us along. Um, but it's probably because of Kaido's influence. Huh? huh? Why do you think that? Um, huh? Why? You can tell just by looking. Maki's interested in Kaido. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose that's true. Huh? Are you shocked? Were you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? No, it's not like that at all. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. <laughs> I just meant to mock you about Maki. I wonder... When we were at Hotsuik Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But, but if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. Even if we can't go back to that time. I'm still going to live with confidence till the end. That's my vow as one of the last students of Hotsuik Academy. Sounds good. So, anyway, let's go over here. Oh, if I keep going, I should reach the hangar. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to say anything. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the Esoskals are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Ooh. Oh, oh god, no. Oh god, no. Ah, god. I was wondering if it was going to be a maze-type situation, and it is. Oh god, no. I don't know how far this one walks through the hallway. Does it come all the way to this corner? Because if not, then I can hide here. Hmm. 
Hmm. There it is. Oh, God. Um. Uh oh. Huh? Oh. This is supposed to happen. Oh, hey, it's Monokuma. Hi. Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the SS girls protecting him? But why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the SS girls are here, then they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Oh my god, the level up really scared me. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four of the skulls. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Bathroom with a small window? What? Oh. That was just a hunch. This honestly did not look like a window. It kind of looks like just a plain light. There's a window. With a bathroom window? Can I see inside from there? I peek in, I peeked into the small window and I saw a silhouette on the other side. What? Oh, hi, what Kaido. Kaito! Don't shout, stupid. Kokichi will hear us. Oh, he's nearby. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? Well, no. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? Yeah, of course. It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. And she might have a crush. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. Uh, sounds like he gave up too. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. What do you mean you'll do something? That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just wanted to hear him say, don't worry, it will be okay. Just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. There's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. Also, you know, the camera's everywhere. You can probably see us talking, but anyway. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. Hmm? What? What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. With you got it, Kaido. You gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You 
You got it, Shuichi. Kaido, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. After leaving Kaido with a smile, I returned to my room. Hmm. No point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. While I was meditating on it. It became nighttime before I knew it. Oh, okay, so no free time segment. I mean, we already had one for this chapter, so... Okay. Uh, um. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaido has taught me. All right. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart. Monokuma Theater. Don't panic! Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is... Well, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. Also don't know what movie reference that was. No morning announcement. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. Alright, right, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Oh, and you're just gonna go there yourself. Good. Oh, well. Outside to the dormitory, anyway. I'll meet you guys at the dining hall. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my electro hammer is all recharged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki? Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey. Then we're off. Hey. Uh, before that, there's something I wanted to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. You scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Yes, and I discovered that Kaido was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I and I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four Esseskulls. So we don't have to be careful that we aren't spotted. So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. Oh, I saw that too. What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kiwo? Yes. Yes. I thought maybe I could get through to Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well. I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. Hey. How did it go? I want to... It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But, but I did witness a few things. Mm -hmm. 
What did you witness? We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now. So Ichi saw four of the skulls that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green as the skull. Okay. If I remember correctly. The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the Estes Skull's presence. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the Estes Skulls? That's right. Also, I know I'm not saying the robot's names correctly, sorry. It's considering it's where the Estes Skulls are stored, it would, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Anyway, there are two Estes Skulls in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electrobomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall, one after the other. Alright, all right, here I go. Okay, let's do it. And as always, I have to walk there. Okay, be back. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to storm the hangar, confront Kokichi, uh, maybe kill him? I don't know. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh, Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Essasols. And the Essasols are deactivated. They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. It's just like Kibo said, we should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. Alright, all right, let's keep moving. I have a bad feeling about everything. And, like I said before, I don't have the hidden Monokuma for this segment, so I suspect we're going to have a class trial, and I suspect that someone's going to be dead inside of this hangar. Well, Probably Kokichi. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Hmm. The electro bomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the SSCALs. Right. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the SSL. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into the SSL, I'll stop him with this hammer. Yeah, yeah you're right. What's wrong, Maki Roll? We're all ready to start, you know? That's true. Yeah, alright. Then let's go. Okay, let's do it. Maki triggered the electro bomb and rolled it in front of the shutter. And then. Ooh. There it goes. 100%. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Suichi, will you do the honors? Oh. All right. Oh, right. If I hit the control panel with this, as I swung the electro hammer, I suddenly noticed. Yeah, it's damaged already. Hmm? Control panel was covered in marks as if damaged by something sharp. Suiji, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Uh, sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. Hmm. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my. The electric barrier turned off. Everyone. Everyone, let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once. Oh. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. All right. 
The remnants of despair end here, here and now. It sure does. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. So who's the victim this time? Ooh, wait. Wait. Wait, what? If I'm not mistaken, Kaido is dead? What? What? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going. The despair is not over yet. Like I said. Voyage without purpose. I didn't read the full title, but anyway, we're in the deadly life section. What is this? What's going on? Um, Kaido got crushed, apparently. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Yeah. Is that blood? The body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? Who? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaido is dead? Look! Those clothes. Yeah, that's Kaido's jacket, alright. They're Kaidos. What did you say? Then the one in that hydraulic press is... No, it's not possible. Hello, Monokuma. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game's all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Oh, hold on, we have to investigate, so the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue. If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then... That means the mastermind, Kokichi, is still alive. If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Kaito? No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito could die. It has to be a lie. It could be. I made a run for the body one. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Calm down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait. Doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? What? That's right, I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right. He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Indeed. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away this... No. Wait. We can't leave yet. Okay. We don't know for certain if that is... If that dead body is Kaido. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaido, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaido is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? 
Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaido being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible. I don't think Kaido could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually. And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the Escalons at will. How could Kaido have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know, I just... I'm just saying it's possible. Ah, and even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaido is the culprit. But how? So, does that mean that the culprit is one of us? Wait, that's impossible! Right. No matter how shocking Kaido's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. We wouldn't be having the killing game if that wasn't the case. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaido is dead. But I just can't believe that, or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaido is dead. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here, with our own hands, and reveal that truth in the trial. So, you want to continue the killing game? A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. He did say that to us. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaido. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. <laughs> yeah, but we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Junko Enoshima cherished the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Good point. Then, then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. Mm, that's true. Hmm, is it that simple, though? I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaido's death so easily? Well then, well then let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. Monokuma file? Unknown suspect. The body was discovered, unknown victim, I mean. The body was discovered in the Estescal hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and it is unidentifiable. Monokuma file number five has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. This makes me think of the uh, final trial of the first game when the dead body was obscured from the explosion and people assumed that it was. Um, that it was the mastermind, but it actually wasn't. It was somebody else. But we might have an inverse here. Where you think it's Kaido, but it was actually Kokichi who got killed. Because I noticed that there's a blood trail being dragged from the bathroom to the hydraulic press. So either Kaido was killed in the bathroom, then his body was dragged to the press and squeezed there. Which doesn't make any sense. Or Kokichi was the one who was killed and Kaido did that to cover everything up or I don't know something happened I don't know what yet mm, that's it that doesn't tell us anything the identity of the victim is unknown it doesn't even tell us that much I don't care. it doesn't matter we already know who the victim and the culprit are it's decided. the culprit who killed Kaido is definitely Kokichi no. wait Maki it's too early to decide that hmm. it's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive but what? Kaido told me. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaido made. I want you to believe in that with me. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaido back in Gonta's class trial. It was like this 
It was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Um. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. I don't feel weird at all. It's got to be because of the electro bomb. Kibo's in the electronic appliance, after all. Rude. Don't call me an appliance. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. Really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side a bit. Mm, I think I'll start investigating, too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we won't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it, be, it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. Himiko left in a hurry. Could it be? I wonder if Himiko suspects? Huh? Suspects who? Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking? I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaido, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaido? Huh? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaido. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaido, then we're completely caught in his trap. Hmm. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Investigation start. I'll start here. All oh, right, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Oh, I like the uh, music for this segment, but yeah, it could be um, the jacket here is a decoy to throw us off because if the body was pulverized, then also since we use the electro bomb, we can't lift the press, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could lift it up and see who it is. So, whoever was the um, blackened was banking on that. So, hmm. based on that, and based on the way people have been acting in this chapter, I'm going to suspect that the blackened is Maki. And I don't know what her motivation was. If she did kill Kaido, maybe it was an accident. Maybe she was, she meant to kill Kokichi and somehow missed. Who knows, but Maki is my blackened guest for this chapter. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you notify when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.